tell them, what about Margaret, the lady you want to marry? Man, it's a long story. What happened? I decided to introduce Margaret to my mom. Then, before I invited her to my family house, I told my mom every good thing about her, including her beauty and her physical qualities. My mom was so eager to see her. On the very day she was coming to my house, she met an old woman in a public bus. I don't know what transpired between them. She insulted the woman and called her a witch. Not knowing that the woman was my mom. Fortunately for her, she got to my house before my mom. On my mom's arrival, she met Margaret in my house. The same lady that insulted her and called her a witch. It was a coincidence. That was how the whole thing ended. My mom rejected her. How could she have done that kind of a thing? Anyways, some girls are like that. What is your next plan? I have gotten another lady. Her name is Cynthia. She came to my house last weekend. And I think I'm in love with her. Then go on and propose to her. Or have you done that already? No, I haven't. I'm still planning on how to go about it. What is still holding you? The previous experience I had with Margaret is still fresh in my memory. I don't want to marry a woman of bad reputation or one who has a bad character. What do you want to do now? I want to text her. If she passed my test, then I will go ahead and propose to her. Tomorrow is even her birthday. I think I have an idea. Okay, let me hear you. Hello, Cynthia. How are you doing? I'm fine, dear. Happy birthday in advance. Thanks, my love. Don't worry. I will be coming with a big gift for you tomorrow. Wow. I can't wait for it, my love. Okay, there. Take good care of yourself. And you too. Bye. Bye, my love. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, Cynthia, happy birthday to you. Wow. A loaf of bread? Yes, there. What for? How dare you buy me a loaf of bread as birthday gift? Are you out of your mind? Can't you buy me an iPhone or a laptop? Some of my friends receive iPhone 7, iPhone 8, and some iPhone X as their birthday gift, and you're here giving me a loaf of bread. Shame on you! Cynthia, for crying out loud, there is a khaki in that loaf of bread. Eh? Khaki? I bought the car for you yesterday, and I decided to use this loaf of bread as a test to see how you react to it. But I'm sorry you lost it. You have displayed a high level of ingratitude, thoughtlessness, thanklessness, and unthankfulness. I'm sorry, dear. Please forgive my manners. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. You are not the kind of lady I'm looking for. Thank you for watching Mr. Caleb Tunes. Please kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the subscribe button to subscribe and also click on the bell beside it so you will be notified whenever we drop a new video.